What makes hypersonics hard? Everything. It's really, really hard. It's also really cool to be able to think we would massively have an impact on how people and goods move around the world. I mean, do you want to set a speed record? If you want to do something that's never been done before, come here. Over the last four years, well, we started off in AJ's basement, transitioned to my living room, and then Mike's kitchen, and we didn't go to Glenn's place because it was too far away. We've definitely grown a lot since then. We'll be flying at like Mach 5, and at that speed, you're moving really fast, faster than a bullet coming out of the muzzle of a gun. Even controlling the vehicle at that speed, communicating with the vehicle at that speed, all of these things are difficult. We have all the foundations now. We have the factory, uh, we have our Site27 test site for propulsion testing. Uh, we have a team of the right people to start building all these airplanes. Now it's really about jumping off this foundation and really starting to execute and, and grow into scale. We're standing up the machine that makes the machine. To do that, we need a flexible manufacturing system that can move quickly. The team on the manufacturing side, the team on the engineering side work very closely together. From design through analysis, integration test, the more you understand that full life cycle, the more that upstream of that life cycle, you can make better decisions. The one thing that is constant at Hermes is change. Things are changing very quickly. If you don't come in the factory for a week and then you go back in there, you're like, wow, there's a lot of stuff that's happened since I was last year. You're walking into an environment where you have to be very adaptable, very flexible. That is the thing that anybody can expect from an intern to a part-time to full-time to the CEO of the company. Is it easy? By no means. It doesn't matter who you are, if you're a contractor, if you're a vendor, you are going to be challenged, hopefully in a way that makes you a better professional, a better person, a better engineer, whatever it is. But it is going to be hard and it is going to be uncomfy. Is it just playing ping pong all day? No, we do play ping pong, but you know, there's a, there's a lot of work that needs to be done and it can be hard work. So that's pretty exciting for someone who's in their career and hungry and really want to do more is the opportunity to define something for themselves, make a plan for it, and then execute on that plan. You come in and you work with a team and you figure out how to do something, you feel good about it. And then just crush it in a way that provides really meaningful value to the company. You're part owner at Hermius and it's such a huge benefit and it makes you feel a lot more connected to the work, to the timelines that we're committing ourselves to, it makes us more accountable to what we're doing because the harder I work here in my job, I know I'm directly impacting the future value of my stock options. Benefits and total compensation, really in total, is so important because what we're asking out of people is a lot. We're asking people to give a lot to Hermes, so we want to give a lot back to them. Hermes is not for everyone. It is really for people who want to kind of carve out their own destiny and are willing to take responsibility and ownership for it and are willing to push outside their comfort zone to communicate with a lot of different types of people. It's not boring. If you want a boring job, don't come here. If you want something easy, don't come here. You know how you talk about dog years versus people years? It's like seven years of dog age. One year of working at Hermius is like two or three years of working at many other companies. This is not like a, oh, I have to go to work kind of thing. We get to work here.